everyone and guess what arrived in my mail this morning now i was trying to get that in the middle of the frame but never mind <laughs> scroller box is here um this is for june um trying to open it one second wait there we go i'm gonna show my address so oh Okay, ignore the magazine, so I'm getting distracted to buy it. We've clearly got some Derwin products. Special colour selection, especially for scroller box. Okay, um, yeah, let's do these first. Let's open these up. I have no idea whatsoever what's in this box, because scroller don't give any hints or suggestions or anything that it could possibly be. And because I'm in the UK, I get it pretty much the day, the day after they release them. So there's no other videos or anything at the moment <clears throat> of filming this, which is Thursday the 25th at 44 minutes past nine in the morning. So we've got pastels. Oh, no, 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 not pastels. <gasps> Inktense, I love these. These are like my first sort of like um, pencils that I had. Um, and I love these. These are permanent, um, but these are the blocks. So, oh, I've never had the blocks. I've only had the pencils. So that's nice. I'm excited for this box now. What's in here? Well, I was excited before, but now I'm really excited. I love this stuff, I love this stuff, I love this stuff. Okay, open, open, open. Okay, so we've got a nice sticker. Zoom in nicely. Um, that's showing like a inky sort of watercolour effect, which is what I know you can do with the th um, things. So then we've also got a C White number 6 pa pen, paintbrush, um, round tip. Always useful things. Then we've got a Caran d'Ache Plasma. Um, and I'm guessing with a little paintbrush, it means that it's water soluble. Um, which are always nice to have because I've only recently discovered that you could have water soluble graphite. Um, and then a very famous Jelly Roll um, White Secura in number eight. So it's quite a thick tip. So I think they go down to five or one, something like that. And then the little chewy is a drumstick tools. <sighs> and then we have our little menu. Oh no, hang on, wait, there's some surface paper in here as well. Oh, this is the artist. Look how nice that is, full of colour. That is nice. Alice Coles, aka Hello Alice. Oh, um, YouTube. She does YouTube. I've seen lots of her videos. That is nice. I like this. Okay, so in here we have got, I think they're just single sheets. Let me find something to open these with. Trust the exacto knife or scalpel if you really want to be British. So I think these are just individual sheets, as I said, but I think they're watercolours and I think they're cold pressed without me even looking at them because I'm learning. <laughs> it might be hot pressed on one side, cold pressed on the other. But yeah, these are just individual watercolour sheets. Um, so let's have a look at the menu. Okay. June, halfway through what has turned out to be a very strange year, it is, has indeed, and we wanted to give you some tools to help you distract you from the world outside for a while and expose and explore something new. This month we have provided you with some water-based art materials that are a little different from what you would normally use. Take some time out, explore the <coughs> supplies and inspiration included, take on the scroller challenge, You've probably heard this question before. If you were an animal, what would you be? 
Um, but what if that animal did not exist yet? Or what if it was combined of the two or more different animals? Um, have fun playing around with this idea and see what exciting spirit animal you can create that represents you best. Well, we all know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Rocky Fox. So yeah, let's have a look in the magazine. Which is covered in this inky, washy stuff. So we've just got a quick sort of overview of the materials. And a few little tips as well. And then a little interview about with the artist. And then some serious tips on what to do with the um, Derwin ink tents. And then a gallery from last month. Uh, is it from last month? No, uh, it's um, the month before. So, eight, yeah, April 2020 scroller box. Um, scroller extras. So it tells you about the referral screen, scheme. Uh, color matters so yep some extras always nice little zine there so yeah let's scotch these things but anyway let's just do a quick switch room in fact like zoom in a little bit so this isn't really graphite is it is it graphite it says pencil but it it, it, it feels like a black sort of just water color crayon but we'll put a big chunk on the end see how that works in a sec um i can put a little bit over there i would imagine hmm no, nope, doesn't work very well with that. So let's try our ink tents. Little beauties. It's quite cool how they've managed to package them. And so we've got a yellow. Do they have the colours? It's 0 to 10. If I get my pencils out, it will probably tell me what the name is as well. Because I'm imagining they would match up with the pencils. I mean, you can use them the way that I'm using them right now, but you can actually just leave them flat and then apply the water and use them like um, a pan set, like a watercolour pan set as well, which I've seen a lot of people do. Um, and people say they prefer the blocks to the pencils because the blocks seem to be more pig pigmentized, pigmentized, more pigment. They have more pigment in them. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some nice colours and of course I think these are definitely mixable. So watch the magic of this stuff. Ooh, look how intense these things are. But these I actually prefer using to um, watercolours. Because as I've said they have a permanence on them that watercolours just don't. Which can frustrate the hell out of me sometimes. Although I do like using watercolours as well, it's just these are my go-to, like these are what I'll have in my bag and want to use all the time. And as you can see with the state of my brush, they do stain because they are very highly pigment pigmented. Look at the glorious, um, where, are we? where are we? There we are. Look at the glorious colours. So let's see if i can get these to dry a little bit quicker but this one the yellow is super duper dry so just a normal wet paintbrush that's now stained and look you can see oh i got purple on it oopsie it does not move at all pretty much straight away so there's no waiting times for that one Let's try the car and dash. Ooh, that just melts like butter as well. I 
A little bit goes a long way with a Karen Dash. I have noticed that with Karen Dash as well. A little bit does go a long way. Because I've recently just got some um, pa pastel pencils. Because I've gone crazy with the pastels. Which I love now. I used to be terrified of. Now I'm scared of. Thanks to Scroller and Art Snacks. Because they both sent me pastels. And I've fallen in love with them. Um, but the Karen Dash... I was using the Rembrandt pastel pencil and I've uh, sharpened it a lot because I was using it a lot and it's like this big now whereas the Caran Dash I did the exact same piece um, using the same amount and I've sharpened it but it's only like gone down a little bit so I don't know whether that's because of the quality of the pr pigments or what but yeah a little bit of Karen Dash goes a long way. <laughs> that should be their slogan. <laughs> so you don't have to replace the products so much, which is good because they're expensive products. Um, I just want to show you how I've been taught to use the blocks. And that's literally just going in and using it that way. Because you get such intense color this way. And you can control how much you want on the brush and things whereas doing it that way you can see it does leave a, a textured effect which by all means have um let's just do a nice the pink as well while the magenta just show you how bold it is i'll show you the yellow as well because obviously that one looks a little opaque <clears throat> the other thing you can do i think is wet on wet I've never done it, so we're gonna give that a whirl. But even the yellow, look how intense that is. Just by using them like um, a pan set. Okay, so if we do a wet on wet, so let's get as much water on the paper. I was gonna say palette. So I've got a nice thing. Um, let's use the green for this one. Hmm. It feels really slippy. <laughs> it's quite bizarre. But you do use quite a lot of that. Um, and then if you just go back in with your paintbrush, you can really get a massive block of colour. But you can still see the texture of the paper underneath. Which again, depends on what effect you're going for. That might be useful, it might not be. So just bear that in mind with what you're planning on doing. Look at me talking like I'm a professional. <laughs> just because I've used them in the past. I am not a professional. Let's make that clear right now. I just know what I like and how to use them. Well, how I use them anyway. Um, so, yeah. So. The Scroller Challenge is my spirit animal, which, of course, you all know. Or if you don't, it's a fox. It's an archie fox. So I want to develop that character as well. So this is another opportunity for me to develop it because part of the scroller challenge, hang on, um, where is it? It says, if you were an animal, what would you be? But what if that animal did not yet exist? Or what if you combine the two or more different animals? Have fun playing around with this idea and see what exciting spirit animal you can create that represents you best. So, Archifox is not a real thing because he's not a geometric fox walking around there um, with architecture symbols all over him. So, <clears throat> my spirit animal is going to be a fox. Um, Archifox. So, yeah, I'll do that next. But let me just tidy up a little bit because there's stuff everywhere that I don't need. Alright, so let's just move the samples out of the way. And uh, bits of paper. Now I've just drawn a quick, 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 quick sketch of a fox. Of Archie Fox, hopefully. Or a version of Archifox. I'm just going to go over it again because it is very faint and I need it to stand out just a little. 
um, in my pre was it my previous? I think it was my previous <clears throat> arts next video. I did Archie Fox as well. Case you've noticed, I'm slightly obsessed with foxes because um, they are my spirit animal. Um, <clears throat> And I'm hoping to develop Archifox for some animation videos um, to do with my architecture buildings. Um, but more on that later. But I think I'm actually going to have to enlist an actual animator or illustrator because <laughs> I keep sort of drawing different variations of Archifox and I can't really decide. Um, or I think that it looks like too much of what's already on the internet already. So I might have to enlist the help of somebody else um, to come up with a design for him because I've, this is what's been taking me so long to sort of do something with him because I just, I just can't make up my mind. I'm being too crazy with it so Hopefully, I'll find someone that I like their style of, um, and then, although I do have someone in mind, so I just need to sort of contact her and see if she'd be available to do it, or if she'd be willing to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, going back to what I was saying before I got distracted, um, I did it last month, um, in fact, do I have last month's... One second. Yeah, so this was last month's um, craziness that I took way too far, um, but sort of managed to bring it back. So it's very angular. In geometric whereas this one's a bit more geometric but I want to put some more curves because it's a fox foxes are slinky there's they're not supposed to be robot sort of angular so let's try and bring some curves back um, I have seen this one online so I'm just sort of doing my own take on on the one that I've seen online but it was like a, a vector art for a logo so yeah but as you can see with me um, I'm used to drawing buildings um, not anything realistic so I think that's why I'm having so much trouble sort of trying to work out an animation version of Archifox um, although I say I draw buildings but sometimes not very well <laughs> so yeah I'm not trained in a classical sense as an artist, I, I suppose you could say. Um, do I want to just go... Sh I, I so just want to go straight in with the colour. Let's have a taste of the sweet here. Even though that's not the main reason why we get the boxes. But kind of is a little bit. We get a little bit of a treat. Drumsticks too. Oh wow. So the, it, here in the UK we have um, a lolly that's called drumstick. And this is a, just a chewy sweet, which is much softer than the lolly. And, but it tastes exactly the same. So, that's nice. I think for this, I'm just going to go straight in with the colour. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. So I'll go with the classic orange. Well, we can always paint over the top, so... Let's just go with the classic for now. And I'm going to work just directly from the, the sticks.
So I think I'm going to leave it there. Or was this video is going to be super duper long. Um, but as, a key, as I've said earlier, with Archifox, I do want to develop him more and more and more. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But in terms of the products in this box, I love them. The dough and ink tents. How can I not love them? Um, I was actually thinking about buying my set of the blocks as well to see how they compare to the pencils. And I do think these are just a tad bit more pigmented than the pencils. Um, and obviously you get a more, lot more bang for your buck because it's just, there's no wood. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I love these. Um, I like the Caran d'Ache um, water-soluble pencil, but I've got to sort of remember not to put it on so heavy. And bear in mind that it will sort of spread with water, obviously. And then, of course, we love the jelly rolls. Um, the paintbrush is a nice, decent... Um, sea white paintbrush um nice general paintbrush as they say what else was there ah the paper the paper's quite nice um there are obviously better quality ones out there but just for me to do stuff like this and in, in practice with um i can't complain um but it's nice that they give us a nice good chunk of like 12 sheets that is super nice um because I know some art boxes, they just give you, like, one sheet. And it's like, okay, <laughs> that's not enough. Um, but, yeah, I'm really pleased with all the supplies in this box. And, yeah, I can't wait to mess with these little ink tents blocks um, further. I mean, ink tents is the perfect name. I'm going to stop rambling. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd love to see what you guys create with this box, if you do get it. Um, or let me know if you want to see more of the development phase of Archifox, um, if you want me to share that with you, or you, if you just want to see the final development with that. But like I say, I might hire somebody, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, yep, so thank you for watching. And um, please like and subscribe this video, which I keep forgetting to say on my videos because it's just unnatural. But yeah, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. And in the meantime, happy architecting.